will not work. There you go. They're like searching all the words and everything. All right, 12-1. The following partial journal page for Graphics Incorporated is given in the working papers, page 10. Right there. Yeah. Of the purchases journal. I'm Also given in the working papers is one blank accounts payable ledger account form. Your instructor, that's me, will guide you through the following examples. Here's the accounts payable ledger down here. So what this is saying is now we're going to post this stuff. So you have all these journals. Remember the general journal, you have to post it, and you go down and then you fill it in on the side here. Well, now you have to post this stuff from each journal. So start a new page for an accounts payable ledger, account for legal designs. The account number is 240. The balance on October 1st of the current year is $877. So the name of this account is what? Regal Designs. The account number is 240. All right. The balance on October 1st of the current year. There we go. This is the balance, so we're going to put balance in here. That's the only time you'll put anything in here this year, is when it gives you the balance in the book, write balance in there. So it's given us that, so what do we have for post-reference? Nothing. Well, yeah, we'll put a check mark in there. So the balance is how much? $877, so $87700. All right. Now, that's... Number four. Number five, post the accounts payable credit entry on line seven of the purchases journal to the accounts payable account for Regal Design. Save your work for the next work together. So on page, on line seven, see this here? What number is that? Seven. On this line, we're going to post this transaction for Regal Designs. Now, this chapter, you have to be very careful and follow the directions in the book, word for word, or how it goes. All right? Make sense? It's telling us to post on line seven. Post this to this. So how do we do that? Okay, so the date is the 19th. We don't put anything in here because we're just posting it from the purchases journal. Our post reference is going to be P10, why P10? Purchases journal, page 10. That's why. That's where that comes from. What do we have here? Is this a debit or a credit? Accounts payable credit. Accounts payable credit, and this is the accounts payable ledger. That's what it said in the book. This is the accounts payable ledger. So we're going to use the accounts payable column. So what are we doing with accounts payable? Credit. So we're going to credit this for 1403.20. 1403.20. And that will give us a new balance of 2280.20. Now what? 240 240. Alright? Easy enough? 240 is this right here. Did you just double rule that? 240. Nope. This was double ruled already because it's the totals. This is already done. 240. 240. Got it? Yeah. 